Welcome to the 2016 NCHA Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular. We just had the non-pro classic final that was taken out by Stuart Bozeman on Checkers Live Oak. The pair scored a 221. Congratulations to you, Stuart. Thank you, ma'am. What was your plan to come into this when um, you were third out? Well, I know that mare has like it in her to win, win on cutting, and uh, we just were talking up there in the cow box. We picked as good a cows as we thought we could and uh, just was like be relaxed and cut them clean and if you got a chance to really show her show her and she's been trying to be good up here every time I've ever showed her and I've just had something little always happen so describe your run to us as you went through it cow by cow um there's a whole lot going through my mind right now so I'm like I know we started with a black eyebrow cow, and uh, it was just like money. There, uh, and uh, every every turn, she just got where I could kick her harder, and she was just stopping harder and getting brighter. And then when the cow slowed down, I, I slowed down, and she come back, and we just had a whole lot of turns and and big stops and stuff. And that was the first cow. Second cow is a blur I don't it wasn't it wasn't my best cow I don't even remember what it was but I know I got it cut real clean and it was like my runs building I turned around and I think I had about 35 seconds left when I was going to cut my third cow and uh, we turned around cut a black bridge and it was just drove right out and got up there and I was like I got a shot to cut it real fast and and thank goodness my turn back guys had me cleaned up real good and I was way far up out of the herd and I was like well here we go the buzzer make or break it and uh, anyways that that cow we whacked and whacked and another cow run out and uh, I thought I was way out of the herd but they and they reviewed my run and, and didn't change the score and, and I mean it's it's what it was and it it was the best run I've ever had in here and easily the best run I've ever had on her. So so you had to hold your breath for a while there. How did that feel? Well, I was, I was a little nervous. A lot of people were saying, oh, they shouldn't change it. And and uh, the uh, so after the first set, I was like, okay, I just have 13 or 12 or 13 horses to be nervous about. And uh, it seemed like that second set of cattle was a little not as good a set of cattle and and everybody just didn't have very good luck and and i know there's probably five horses in there that had a real legit shot of beating me and nobody ever got that run that magic run going so all right now this is your first finals as an adult competitor yeah. um what does it mean to you how significant is it to win in the will rogers well i mean it's I guess I started dreaming about that when I was a little kid, and uh, it, it's, I've, I've been here on other horses, never got out of the second round, never made a semifinals, and, and her, I, I showed her here super stakes her four-year-old year, and uh, had bad luck, and bad luck, and bad luck, and bad luck, and I'd make a few little finals on her, and Grant and Mackie both told me they're like don't sell that horse you won't have another one like her and I always thought man if I it'd mean the world to me because it's it's what I work at I, I mean I farm and ranch and and uh, train my own horses and, and it's like I devote time to it and so it means the world to me having a horse that nice and and getting it done. And now you trained this horse didn't you? Yes ma'am. So how does that feel knowing that a horse you trained, you just won on in the Will Rogers. Oh, uh, it's like I, I don't have any idea what I'm supposed to be feeling right now because I've never been in this situation, but it feels real nice. Doesn't get any better, huh? <laughs> no. Well, no. thanks very much for joining us. Congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you.